Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another game review. I'm your reviewer, as always, Neil. Um, so for this particular review, I'll be reviewing, reviewing a game that was recently released for Android and iOS, as you can see, called Star Wars Force Arena. Um, so basically, the purpose of the game, in case you're not wondering or you haven't really heard too much about it, is to collect various characters from across the Star Wars galaxy, whether they're light side or dark side, um, it is one or the other, and build up your team of cards to do battles against other people and their decks of cards. Um, so as you can see, my default here is uh, Luke Skywalker. I also have unlocked uh, Princess Leia um, and various other characters. So on the light side, I have, for example, Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker as my team leaders. So your various heroes that you know of um, will be considered uh, heroes. And you can unlock various other characters like Lando because Calrissian, Ezra Bridger, uh, Baze Malbus, um, Jin Erso, and various other characters like that. Um, and then you get various other uh, characters who are considered non-hero um, types, so like Wookiees. Uh, you can get various spaceships like X-Wings and TIE Fighters and that sort of thing, Twi'leks. And then uh, rebel troopers and uh, rebel snipers, grenade grenadiers, and all of that. On the dark side, you get a similar uh, setup. So in this case, I already I've unlocked the Grand Inquisitor. I already have Director Orson Director Orson Krennic, um, and then I have other unlocks like Imperial Sharpshooter, uh, MTV Seven light vehicles, various stormtroopers, and things like that. So. You get various base characters right off the bat, but you can, as you uh, play various uh, battles and level up and all of that, you can unlock various other cards and characters as well. Um, so, in case you're wondering how this diff or why this game might seem a little familiar, and you'll see why in a little bit, is that it's kind of like Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, but rather than having to level up in order to unlock specific characters that you as you go you can get various characters uh, right off the bat. Um, so, for example, Director or um, Krennic might be someone you might consider later on or a special character, but I got him early on. Um, and as you can see, opening these various cards gives me additional uh, trooper types as well. Um, I haven't opened my free pack, so I'll get that. I got some cash, uh, gems, tie, another TIE Fighter, X-Wing, and various other um characters and as you play the game and you level up you'll also see that you can level up your various um cards and characters as well so i don't have enough credits for <coughs> upgrading the my stormtroopers and tie fighters so um i'll have to pay a few more battles in order to do that um and if i touch that it says i need to um I guess I need to have car my cards actually upgraded themselves to level two, uh, which um, I don't have just yet. And I guess I still have more unlocks that I can do for today. Um, and then if I switch on over to um, my light side deck, I can see if I have any upgrades there. So I can upgrade this guy, um, which I the honor guard, um, it'll tell you exactly what you can upgrade as well. So a health got upgraded, attack power and damage for seconds, so a little bit more powerful there. I can upgrade my Twi'lek, um, and I need to have more cards in order to upgrade, so it looks like three, I have three out of four, so I need one more, um, and that's probably the same thing on the dark side characters as well. Looks like I need, um, or I can upgrade the Stormtrooper, so I got a health bonus, attack power, and all of that, so as you get cards and various additions to your deck, you'll be able to do upgrades. And so from here, I still have um, my dark side going on. So if I want to click on a battle, I'll do one versus one. Um, you can also do um, two versus two battles or uh, more training if you so need. So in this case, I want it looks like there's going to be a battle on maybe Solus it looked like. Um, but I'm going to go against a team led by Lando Calrissian. So um, essentially the point when you're doing battle is to take out all of the other uh, players' um, turrets and then disable their shield generator so that you can um, um, essentially disable their uh, particular base and um, and basically win that level and win that battle so in this case I'm going to steal some of that health I'm going to deploy as soon as I can more of um, 
my troops that are going on. Looks like my and then my leader got defeated while I'm at it. So in a few second respawn, I'll be it'll, it'll take me to the um take me back to my base where my character will respawn, and um uh, I'll be able to. I have to traverse the map again and um essentially take out the rest of the or whatever I can for that character's base. So I'm gonna. Uh, deploy as much as I can because I see that there's going to be a lot of characters um, respawning on the enemy side as well so it looks like I defeated the turrets so uh, um, as soon as I can I'm going to jump across or I'm going to um, run across the rest of the base and and my troops have gone ahead and um, de destroyed the shield generator so my TIE fighters came in and destroyed the base and I get my nice victory animation I got looks like I got some more um, an additional car pack and then some more credits so I'll hit OK and we'll see what I get and it looks like I leveled up a little or divisioned up as well a little bit so um, I'll get some benefits there so looks like I have an unlock available so I'll click Force Arena here unlock a new the silver tier silver pack tier one so let's see what's going on with that um and i can buy more crystals but i'm not going to do that just yet um no upgrades at the moment let's see any rewards i have no rewards um so no other packs going on at the moment but that's basically the gist of the game You'll get various cards and characters. So rather than like in Galaxy of Heroes where you start with base characters and you earn, for example, Luke Skywalker or Princess Leia or um, other uh, heroes one at a time, you can earn multiple heroes and upgrade your pack that way as well. And let's say you have, and the one caveat, or not caveat, but the one thing I will say that you can only have one leader or hero at a time. So let's say I wanted Director Krennic instead of the Grand Inquisitor. I'll drag his card up, and now he's my um, uh, new my new team leader. And then same thing goes for other character or other cards I have as well. So if I want an Imperial Tr Stormtrooper instead of um, the Imperial Heavy Gunner, I can do that. Or um, let's say I want to keep my Rocket Stormtrooper and not have my um, Deveronian Bladesman. I can actually keep I can swap them out and have as high level characters as possible. So even if I want to keep my Devronian Guard, get rid of the Stormtrooper. So now I have all level three and higher, then I can do that. And even um, looks like my Director Krennic and Grand Inquisitor are both level one. So my leaders are approximately equal. I can go into their stats as well and see if I want to um, um, see which one actually has more power and um, abilities. Going into settings, it's pretty straightforward. You can link with Facebook and Google Plus. So if you have, if you do sync with Google Play Games, you can sync that as well. If you want card assistance or and uh, vibration when you hit turrets, then you can get that um, kind of feedback as well. Um, going back to rewards, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit of while, a few minutes longer for a victory pack. So if I want to, um, let's say, do more training, then I can hit the training button and continue with uh that as well so go back and so it'll start the level from the start um i'm gonna have my director krennig uh spawn at the start uh the one bit of control is double tapping will allow your character to run it looks like i'm gonna be fighting against uh, uh someone a team led by Luke skywalker um so and my free pack is now available which is kind of annoying i need to turn off heads up notifications but um essentially so i'm gonna give work on destroying on my now my leader team leader has died so i'm gonna have to wait for a respawn but i'm gonna have to move as uh fast as possible to get these um characters uh defeated so now that that has happened i can go resume attacking um the enemy turrets it looks like we have Luke Skywalker coming into battle again. So the one thing I will have to, um, or the one thing I might want to consider now is that I will, I'd rather use um, the Grand Inquisitor and as a team leader rather than um, uh, Director Krennic. But hopefully I get some sort of uh, 
um, upgrades. And I think the one thing I was mentioning earlier is that double tapping allows you to sprint and this single tapping will allow you to um, walk to a location. So something to, think, something to consider there as well is um, if you um, need to get across the level as fast as possible is to double tap if, as much as you can and time it so that you can um, escape and run away as well. So um, double tapping, I have Luke Skywalker um, coming back into play. So I'm going to attack him, take him out of the picture. Um, I'm dead again, but it doesn't seem like there's any limit to how many times you can respawn, but it's just making sure that um, you time yourself as much as you can as far as um, or I, I mean, assuming as far as random tactics go, but keeping, um, yourself, t um, or defeating the, or having more health than your enemy, but at least dying first in case you're both running low on energy so you can respawn, um, faster and take out, um, your enemies that much faster. So I'm going to have to, as soon as I respawn, I'm going to have to go onto the left side. As you can see, I'm, I'm going to follow Luke Skywalker around, so... Um, I will aim my TIE Fighters to um, take him out so now I can resume back across the field and I have um, this turret to take out so I'm going to disable that as fast as possible then uh, get some energy back and work on taking out this turret and I have destroyed the shield as well so I have completed this particular training, defeated the um, enemy base, and I get my victory. Um, so, as you can see, there's no rewards in training mode because you are obviously trained, so you can use the controls, how to play against or uh, control your characters, get used to um, running across the field and controlling your characters and moving around, deploying strategies, and that sort of thing. So... Um, I'll go into my pack, see who I can upgrade. Nothing on my dark side pack. Um, I can upgrade my Twi'lek, so I'll upgrade her, see what I get. A slight health upgrade, slight attack power upgrade, and slight improvement in damage per second. I'll see if I can upgrade my Grenadier and um, upgrade him as well. So a health boost, power boost, and increased damage per second. Um, looks like and I can even upgrade him even more. So I have I've unlocked an achievement. So my turret health has gone up. My shield generator health has gone up, and my turret can also sustain more damage as well. So a uh, pretty nifty game. And uh, if you want to trade your cards, you can do that as well. So if you want to trade common cards, so you know, maybe I want to get rid of um, this guy, the my Tal's Morad Moradir, then. Um, I can see if I see about trading him up. So if I want to get rid of, let's say him and maybe stormtroopers, then, um, we can do that as well. Um, so, and then also you want to get, you want to, um, um, trade as, or make an, as much of an even trade as possible, I guess. So, um, giving him as much as possible and it doesn't look like I could, um, And I guess I have enough cards, so I'm, even though I'm, oh, I can, I, with all those Maltors, I can get rid of that. So I'm going to get uh, some of him, so um, trades there. And then if you want to jo join a guild, you can join a guild as well. Um, so that's really all that is, that's basically all that you have for the game. So essentially you have games, I think the, uh, I can now do a two versus two um battles so if you have friends who play the game you can team up with your friends to um fight battles and defeat other um or defeat enemies as well so it's a pretty cool game i just started playing so i'm still loving leveling up getting used to it but um i'm still undecided as far as how if i like it better or worse than um star wars galaxy of heroes but the game is definitely worth a shot um i like the um, upgrade ability of the um, characters. I like that there's not real any different or not really any differentiation in um, uh, what kind of characters you can get. But as long as you level up, you get various um, characters, and it doesn't also include um, Rogue One characters. So 
Um, it's pretty cool to play with some of those as well. Uh, but that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, you can email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. And you can find all podcast links, social media links, and all of that good stuff on the website at PatelN01.com. And of course, you can find this review and all uh, reviews on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.